Hey folks, Tim Morgan here. Uh, I'm going to demonstrate some engine out procedures during cruise in the Beach Bear in a Microsoft Flight Simulator. So we're going to lose an engine here during cruise. I'm going to demonstrate proper procedures for flying on one engine in the Beach Bear. So in order to kill an engine, all we have to do is bring the mixture all the way to idle cutoff. We'll do that for the left engine. Now your first indication that your left engine fails is that the ball is going to become uncentered and you're going to need to use a right rudder to center the ball. When you suspect an engine has failed, you need to be starting the engine failure memory items, which start with pitch. You want to make sure you've pitched for at least VYSC. Power, you want to go full power on both engines. Configuration, verify the gear and flaps are up. And now identify uh, dead foot, dead engine. The right foot is pressing on the pedals, the left foot is dead. So we uh, believe the left engine is dead. Verify now, we're gonna reduce power on the left engine and verify that we don't hear anything spooling down. And lastly, feather. We're gonna take the uh, left prop and bring it all the way back into the feather range. That's gonna feather the propeller and reduce the RPM, which is gonna decrease drag and give us better cruise performance on one engine. So as the RPM decreases, you're going to see our cruise performance and our speed increase. Now, of course, you're going to need to unfeather the engine uh, in order to bring it back online to try to restart it. To do that, all you have to do is bring the knob back out of the feather position and the engine should start spooling back up again, like you can see here. And that's because there is uh, some leftover oil pressure or sometimes a nitrogen charge in the propeller hub that uh, allows the, uh, the gives the uh, propeller governor just enough push to bring the uh, propellers back out of feather into the flight position. We can demonstrate that again, bring it all the way into feather. And as you can see here now in the feather position, our cruise performance goes up, our drag goes down, and we can bring it all the way back out of feather once again to start it spinning again, which we would do if we needed to restart the engine. Hopefully that was straightforward for you guys. Um, I've been enjoying flying Microsoft Flight Simulator. As you can see, it's very realistic. I'm not seeing any bugs or issues with the way that the aircraft performs, and uh, I look forward to making more videos for you guys in the future. Thanks and see you later.